Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I am going to do tutorial number 34 which is how to add custom icons in conditional formatting in Power BI. And as a subtopic, while following this tutorial, I am going to do how to modify your Power BI themes JSON file as well. So if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and let's see how we can add this type of custom icons into your Power BI dashboard. So at the end of the tutorial, so you will be able to add this type of icons into your Power BI dashboard which is really essential if you are really customizing your Power BI dashboards. Let's say if you want to develop something to your company so then definitely that you might need this type of custom icons. Right, so my data sheet contains salesperson, item, sales value and the sales date. So this uh, data source or the excel file that you can download, uh, the link is uh, given in the description section. Right, so now I'm going to add a table window to my Power BI dashboard. Right, so which contains maybe we can add uh, salesperson. sales value maybe item so these fields that you can add into my table and I will increase the font size as well right so now uh, First we'll see without uh, doing the custom icon, we'll see how to use the inbuilt icon in Power BI. So here you can go sales value, I will add the uh, conditional formatting to sales value. Here you can select conditional formatting, then you can select icons, right. So once you get the icon, so here you can have different rules that you can define and some of the sales value based on this will summarization so this is fine and you can define different you know uh, numbers as well here according to the value according to the conditional formatting that you want but I will keep this default settings and keep set ok right so as you can see this is the default icons once if you use the default icon so it looks like this right so now uh, we try to get custom icons to our Power BI dashboard. So now this is a one of JSON file format that I will use to input custom icons. Usually in Power BI themes are contains or consist as a JSON files. So here JSON file name I set as geek and then since I want to add icons I set is the set as the icon tag here icon stack then I want to give name for the first icon and the description of the icon and then URL so URL so we have to get the base 64 image code so there are plenty of online tools that you can download icons and also to convert it to base 64 code right so please note this format so if you create this format correctly definitely the theme will import uh, to your Power BI dashboard. So now let's see where we can find the icons and how to get the base URL 64 code. So there are two third party tools I'm using here. One is icons8.com so which uh, will uh, easily that we can download many plenty of uh, icons are there so you can download any icons from that site that is one right and also I will use base64-image.de site in order to get the base64 code of the image or the icon right so these are the image set or the icon set that I have downloaded and these are the uh, icons that I'm going to use uh, to upload to my Power BI dashboard as custom icons right so you can go to base64-image.de site and you can click browse and here you can give uh, any icon so I'll give uh, this one right so here as you can see once I uploaded it it is it is loaded 
uh, and I'll upload the others as well this one and this one right so now if you uh, click show code here you can get the this one uh, as the base 64 code so you can say select all and copy to clipboard to add it to my JSON file right so I came back to the JSON file and I add this uh, code there right and I s right so now I have copied all these uh, three icons base 64 codes into my JSON file or the customized theme and I'm going to save the file and now we are going to upload it to the Power BI dashboard right so now it's time to upload the customized theme that I have created for that you have to go view and here you have to select browse for themes and here I will upload the geek.json file that I have created okay so there's an error comes in I think there's a problem with the JSON file tags so let's see how we can correct that right so if we go through the JSON file I think it is due to this two commas which is uh, added here so I'll remove one comma and save the uh, file and uh, we'll try to upload it again so right I go to browse and browse for themes and I upload the file right so it mentioned the import was successful right so I will go to the table and I will click the conditional formatting and see whether our new icons are added right here I go to conditional formatting and click icons right so uh, now if we select this one as you can see now the small icons that we have added are uploaded the power bi desktop as a new theme so i'll select few values here right if we set okay right as you can see our new modified icons or the customized icon are added in my power bi table conditional formatting so this is how we add uh, customize uh, or custom icons to power bi uh, dashboard and hope you like my video and thanks for watching my video and please share with, with, with your friends and uh, keep uh, in touch and subscribe to my channel as well